Hi everyone, good evening. It's lovely to see you back again in my channel. I hope you're all well. I've decided that perhaps it would be nice to show you my garden because um, I'm pretty much quite surprised uh, this, despite the fact that I left um, my garden unattended for a week. So literally not um, uh, being able to get watered, although I had a, a, a kind uh, neighbor next door who offered to um, water my plants because I believe the week before last week the weather has been really really hot and warm here in the UK but it seems that um, last week actually we had some um, intermittent um, rainy weather so it looks like they've been okay anyway and as I said this morning as we um, woke up we had quite heavy rain pouring down and as I look from our bedroom window I was so surprised at how well my most of my plants or almost all of my plants are looking and um, um, apart from just the normal um, um, dead heading that I need to do around my roses all in all they look pretty well um, you know considering that I have, as I said, left them uh, for a week without any kind of TLC from anyone and especially from me. So I'll show you around in a minute now and I'm just giving some, um, a bit of time and space for one of the, I believe a baby pigeon that um, has taken um, um, a shelter underneath my garden table over there. I don't really want to disturb it. I think what had happened was because we've been away for a week and um, uh, no one has been in and around here in my garden, it looks like it's not only my plants and it's not only me who enjoyed a week break from each other. Uh, it seems that also the lodgers here in my garden have also had a great time being left alone um, doing their own things here in my garden. And so, as I said this morning when I woke up, the first thing I did, I checked the garden from our bedroom window and um, I was so, so happy to see there were loads of birds around, playing around and um, as I said, that my plants are still alive. Um, anyway, uh, I'll turn the camera around now and show you. I'm just looking at my hair in the video because I had a, a haircut recently and I'm not quite particularly happy about it so I'm feeling a bit self-conscious um, about my hair because it looks like a such a mess so forgive me for being <laughs> looking like I'm, I'm not so comfortable um, anyway I'll turn the camera around now and show you how it is here in my garden so time check at the moment is I believe without looking at um, I don't have my watch so I I think it's around half past six in the evening so come and join me and I'll show you a well. Let's start here. So this pot of patio rose, can you see what I mean? Don't they look just okay? <laughs> Apart from this here, I need to do this probably tomorrow because as I said, this is the only time we had, a, we are having a break from heavy rain since this morning. So I'm just literally taking this opportunity to quickly show you, as I said, how my garden is looking after a week of not being uh, looked after by anyone. So that's, there you go. But look at the other flowers. They are still looking pretty much happy and some more healthy looking buds this one is a patio rose and i think this one is called something red um it's not one of david austin it's actually one of an um, english um other another english company and i bought it from a garden center that's how it is and then there's the other one here a cream one and um there's only one bloom left here flowering Let's see but there are some healthy looking blooms here. What I'm particularly surprised to find out is actually this lich filled angel that was looking poorly when we left a week ago. But look how well it's looking now. Coming back um, uh, home to this, look how well it's looking. Look at some healthy buds here. 
now can you see it looks bare underneath because i planted it in a plastic tub here as you can see and i planted some um lilies in it uh with it so that's probably the reason why it didn't look too happy but as i said i'm really really surprised uh because it looks so much better now and actually i've already cleared out an area there there next to my dame judy dench rose to move this one from the pot straight in the ground because i thought that's the reason why it's not looking particularly happy but as i said right now look at this look at this look at the buds can you see and fingers crossed they will continue to get better as you can see and look at the leaves as well i was having a problem with my leaves as i said um last week and for some reason it just surprised me because despite the fact that it's been left here my garden has been left here on its own for a week without um any human um, intervention or tlc from a human being look how well it's looking see so hopefully i can keep an update on this one um as it progress and then there's my um that's demonia rose this one i'm not too sure though because look how tiny the bud this is not going to oh hold on a second there's another one here that's how it is here and this one this honesty plant i was going to um cut this for a decoration but i decided to left it uh leave it or left it as it is because uh, last week there was a pig spider leaving here and it already stored loads of food and I didn't really want to disturb it and as you can see if I get closer you can see the slugs you see that's actually lodging here as you can see here See, that's a slug, a baby slug, and another one there, and another one over here. Look how cute this baby slug is. So I'm just going to leave that one as it is. I'm just, uh, I just have to forget about cutting it for a decoration because there is quite a lot of, as I said, um, snails, not slugs, snails that are living here at the moment. So we don't really want to disturb them, do we? We don't want to kill them or destroy them just for the sake of having a, a bit of a decoration for the winter. We can wait until next time. There will always be a next time to do that. Um, the important thing is you just let the wildlife live in your garden peacefully and safely as much as you can. There's another one there. I think that's one of the adult ones. Loads of slugs in here, but my camera can't capture all of them but as you can see from what i have showed you so far that's um their favorite um lodging at the moment this sweet honesty plant there you go and then this one here um ooh, what's the name of this one i'll show you when this one flowers it's um gladii gladii something like that i'll show you when it flowers it's a lovely lovely um color white with black center um in the middle and this is my sedum this one is called autumn joy and um i've already recorded a, a an earlier video of this including this a week ago but i haven't um managed to edit anything yet to upload them in my channel so i have quite a lot of videos that i need to sort out and add to my channel to to share with you so hopefully i can do that um before this month ends <laughs> it's just that um there's so many things to catch up at the moment because it's always been like this uh you know um if one has just been on a a nice lovely holiday actually we've been to germany and um you know you had a great time but unfortunately as, as soon as you um go back home and you know return to your normal life there's so many things that you need to catch up on and that's what i am having at the moment so tomorrow i'm back to work and um i'm not complaining you know i just feel so lucky 
that I got the opportunity to see Germany with my husband and we had a lovely time, a fantastic time. It was so, so beautiful. We went to the Black Forest and the place is, uh, I don't know, it's hard to find the right word to describe it. You, I think it's, it's a place where you have to see it with your, you know, own eyes to believe how beautiful it is. I've made some videos, short videos of the, uh, you know, <clears throat> where we went i'll see if i can upload it in my channel as well to share with you but yes this is this one is dame judy dench and as you can see it's soaking wet from the rain and some there that needs that heading last week we had the full blooms there but now they uh, they've spent and lost their petals but those japanese anemone i don't know if i can make my video oh there you go Japanese anemone. I'm just letting them grow wild there amongst my Dame Judy Dench rose. You see? These are lovely, isn't it? Autumn Joy said them. And these are um, um, autumn plants, you know, autumn flower. They provide flower around this time, late September. And you can leave them as they are, you know, to die down. And then you can leave the, the what do you call this, the head, the seed head. I don't know what you call it properly in English. Sorry, but it's like you literally leave these as it is until it dies down. And then come springtime, you can cut it down again right at the bottom there. And they will start to um, grow back again. So they are one of the best perennials that you should really, I feel, um, want to have in your garden. And it's getting darker now, so I need to do this really quickly. And this one is my Sweet Williams. So literally I bought um, four pieces of these um, three years ago and I planted it in this pot and it keeps on coming back. So as soon as they flower and they, you know, if they're looking poorly, all you just have to do is cut them down right at the ground level and they will always come back. So they are also perennial. And that one is called Sweet Williams, but there is no flower yet. Another one in there. Okay. And as you can see over there, some of the um, echnesias there, sedums, and the other plants here. I don't know if we can get closer. I think it's going to be soon. Black-eyed Susan here. This is also a perennial, but it's got buried amongst all the other plants here. Okay, and then there's our Dame Judy Dench rose. Our Japanese anemone there, you see, and this particular bush that I'm very, very fond of, okay, because these berries are feeding um, the birds at the moment. And then around summer, late springtime when they flower, it feeds loads of bird, uh, bees. So I need to find the correct name for this as well, and I will attach it um, in my video when I upload this video because I can't remember the name of this, but it's so beautiful, you know. It will. It stays like this in the um, win, uh, autumn time, and then they will like die down, shed its leaves around winter, and then they'll start growing back again come springtime, and then the process repeats again. So that's how they look at the moment. And then there's my golden celebration rose there. You see? In there. Actually, I think I can hear the rain coming again, so that they're. Rush this. Um, there's another Japanese anemone and some more in there. It's the lavender, lavender, lavender. Um, here, it's not looking particularly nice because these are three roses here that I'm not quite so sure whether I need to move them around. So there's nothing there. But this one here, the sunflowers are now no longer flowering. So they just finish now. I'll plant some more of these next year. And I'll upload it in my um, channel to show you. So this one is actually um, ooh, Sweet Peas and Emily Bronte Rose. Can you see how dark it is? Look at the sky. So that's the kind of weather we are having at the moment. And um, there you go. Ooh, actually, um, the video that I have uploaded about my Emily Bronte Rose, there was uh, one of my viewers uh, left a comment asking how long does a bloom last so before we left this was in full bloom 
but as you can see now it's just literally like this so i was correct then saying it's just around a week um, that the bloom lasts so but but it depends on the weather and one of the big reasons or big things that spoils my roses i find is heavy rain which we've been having um i believe since last week and obviously this morning we had quite a heavy rain this morning quite heavy rain as you can see that's how it is it's not looking too happy at the moment you see those sweet peas we go golden celebration in there and another empress josephine and the sweet peas there and um let me just show you this timeless pink see how beautiful Look at this one. Oh, I think it's starting to rain now. I better rush out now. Um, Lark ascending. There you go. Let me just show you quickly. Okay. So they've been like that for a week. A week. When we left last week, there were roses in there. And I should have actually taken a before video just to show you exactly what i mean but anyway it's too late now for me to do that but as you can see that's how they are a week of no attention and tlc this one here i've been trying to make like an arch here so as you can see there's the lark ascending growing from there okay then I'm, i let it grow as tall as it can and it's actually growing really tall now and then i'm training it to grow across this lovely dogwood um bush or hedge that I'm training to grow as a tree. Look at how lovely it is. So literally it's like this. So before we left last week, it's looking more like an arch entrance here as I had imagined it to be and as what I'm trying to do, to um, intentionally do. But because of the heavy rain um, we've been having, it's now weighing it down heavily. So it's starting to collapse now, as you can see here. You cannot even see the arch I created there last week. And as I said, I should have taken a before video to show you. So you can see exactly what I mean rather than taking my word for it. But this time, I'm afraid you just have to take my word for it. Okay? <laughs> um, there you go. Look at that. I just love this lark ascending against this dogwood. It is, this is one of my favorite bush. It's gorgeous, this. And as you can see there, I don't think I can... Ooh, there's an entrance there. But we have to crawl to get to there. Let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. I hope the rain will hold off a bit, a, for a bit for us. Ooh, look at these. My cyclamins are coming out now. How gorgeous. And some of my succulents here. And our jasmine. And I have uploaded a video when I tidied up this area. So I hope, if you haven't seen that, I hope you will um, spare me some of your precious time to watch that as well. So you can see the before video. Um, but at this moment, this is how it is. And you know that there, I'm the one. <laughs> I'm, I just feel so proud about it. But I trained that particular bush to grow like that, okay? So before, it just looked like a round bush. But what I've done, I cut that half side and then let the other half side there grow a stall. And then I started training it like that, bending the, the branches to train it like a, a nice small canopy. And as you can see, it's looking pretty much, it's getting there now. You see? And I have some climbing rose there as well and some um, clematis. Can you hear the birds? Aren't they lovely? Oh. And I did the same thing with this one as well. Same bush, okay? And as you can see. See? So we're getting there. And I'm, this is what I'm also trying to do here with my jasmine hedge here. That's what I'm also trying to do. So hopefully I can extend the archway that I'm trying to achieve here. So if I go the other way around. There you go. So here actually is not too high, 
I hope you can still see it. It's not too high, but it's just the right height for me to pass through without it catching my head. Can you see at the size? But this one here, I need to train, okay? Because at the moment, I need to do this to get to there. And if I turn around as well, turn the camera around, and I'll show you the other one. Ta-da! Okay. Let's go this way. Come follow me. <laughs> go. Go. And then, there it is there. So, follow that way there. This one is, is a bit better, okay, because it's much, much higher. As you can see, that's the room there I have over my head, while the other one was quite tight. See? And there's my rose there. Okay, so let's head back out now. So that's, that's the other way, but this is the way out from this narrow. Can you see how narrow it is here? the path so that's how narrow it is so let me see if I can put my camera down a bit and show you what I mean and I'm in my lounging clothes so you have to bear with me okay Some of the brambles is catching me. Let's beg, head back out now. See what I mean? With this second one, it's very, you know, it needs a bit more tidying up that area. But all in all, it's not too bad. It's just a bit quite tight here. Especially this jasmine. This needs to go up a bit higher. Okay. So, those greens in there. There's a dogwood. This is the one I've been trying to, to say. I've been training to grow like an arch, okay? But, because it's quite, it rained heavily, look how tight it is here as well. And then I have to dock down. See what I mean? Tiny. Let me just show you this Japanese anemone. That has been growing here in my garden quite widely and I think I've already mentioned in my channel um, in my video before that when I first spotted this Japan, uh, Japanese anemone in my garden I mistaken them for uh, like uh, an unwanted weed okay in my garden oh sorry that one is actually and um, I've been trying to eradicate them because look at their leaves okay and there were loads of them there as well but luckily, I decided to give up because it doesn't matter how many times I tried and pulled them out. Um, they just keep on coming back. So one day, I just gave up and decided to let them grow. And that's when I discovered that actually they are not weeds. They are one of the beautiful plants, perennial plants, that you would wish you have in your garden. Because they are one of the low-maintenance plants. Actually, I have not been feeding them at all. So they just grow there underneath that dogwood in there okay and with my compost bean over there so i'm just letting them grow like that and they are very very low maintenance i can't find the baby pigeon now so actually a while ago when i first went out here in my garden it was sheltering from there and <laughs> and actually it was there hiding and as you can see i, I already have a bread in my hand now that I have been playing about now because I was 
going to give it to the pigeon and I was going to get some worms as well for my compost, compost bin. But unfortunately, I think it's because I'm back that it's now, um, I scared it away. So I'm afraid this bread <laughs> will have to go in my compost bin. And then I was also going to harvest some of the, um, some of the worms from my compost bin to give it to that baby pigeon. But it looks like it's been sheltering in here. I'll turn the camera around. Actually, I spotted some poops on the trays. And um, to show you as a proof that I think it's been living here whilst we were away. But now that we are back, I'm afraid it will have to find somewhere else. Or, you know, it can, it, it can stay here. I won't shoo it away. I just hope that there is a way um, that I can... Um, make it feel secure and um, you know assured that it's welcome to stay here as long as it wants so let me turn the camera around and show you the poop on the tray <laughs> look at this see that's a fresh poop and there's some more in there <laughs> and some more there so it's ac actually it was there a while ago when I went to put some of the um, garden scraps because I cooked our dinner and I had some vegetables cuttings that I needed to make, to put in my compost bin and it was actually just sitting here. Unfortunately, I didn't have my phone with me then to um, make a video of it, you know, just to show you what I mean. So as I went inside back home to get my phone and set up my tripod and my phone, it now went somewhere else along there. But, you know, not to worry. Um, I understand it probably doesn't feel, it doesn't feel um, safe to stay here whilst I'm here. So hopefully after I finish this video, it can come back and stay here for the night or for however long it needs. Can you see? These are fresh. So what I can actually do, I'll leave this here, this little bread here. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera that I can set up here to keep an eye on it. But I'm sure it has a um, mommy and daddy to look after it. So I just leave some bread. I was going to leave some worms as well, but, you know, hopefully tomorrow I'll visit again in between my work. There you go. So let me just, before I finish my video, show you this. See what I mean about leaving my garden for a week even my miniature rose is looking absolutely gorgeous look at all the leaves look at all the leaves you see and last week when we left all the leaves were shedding okay it's almost bare but for some reason they've come back <laughs> and believe me i haven't done anything to it you know all those granules there those have been uh were from last year oh no early this springtime this year i sprinkled those so apart from those i haven't fed it but look how happy it looks at the moment and there's a bud here and hopefully we'll get some more buds and i've already got a video of this when it was flowering hopefully i can get it and then include it in my video but this one i meant to show you I'm sorry, unfortunately, I haven't managed to take a video when I took a cutting of this. So this one is also one of my sedums. Um, I just can't remember the variety because it's not an Autumn Joy. It's not the one that I showed you earlier with the green fleshy stem. This one actually has like this kind of dark red. But I got this um, from the original pot and I gave it to a special friend because I was growing it intentionally for her. And um, it was growing, I was waiting for it to properly settle. And it did. So that's when I gave it to her. Uh, was it last week? Yes, last week I gave it to her. And I took some cuttings as well here, just in case. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching this. Um, just in case it doesn't survive in your hand, okay? So um, just in case you're watching this, this is the some of the cuttings I got from the baby I gave to you, okay? So if it doesn't survive, we've got some more hair covered. So don't worry. We'll grow some more for next year. And there you go. These are sedums. And these are sedums as well, given to me by a special friend as well from a cutting. 
and this one I've been told that it's you know particularly a very slow growing one so hopefully next year I'll get to plant it in the ground permanently and also I'll try and see if I can get some more cuttings out of this it's growing tall so hopefully we'll get more shoots coming out of there as well on there as well but in the meantime I'll leave this one here for now Go. and these here are some of the babies from that bush I showed you earlier that one there okay and I just did this as an experiment and it looks like it's growing well so I don't I might give this to my special friend as well if she'd like to but she will have a longer wait um, for it to grow as matured as that one I have there over there because she's looking for a plant uh, especially a hedge uh, um, plant hedgy plant that she can plant next to her fence to help um, support her fence and I thought I could do this anyway I better wrap, wrap this up now so there's some more here these are the seeds I planted uh, from um, earlier this year I uploaded a video of that as well so this this is one of the ones that survived it's um daisy this but they haven't flowered yet some fox gloves yeah they won't be flowering until next year i believe i put them in this pot okay and this i don't know what this one is called i believe this one love an ericaceous soil that's why it's not looking particularly happy in this pot so i have to buy an ericaceous soil remove it from this pot and then replace the soil with an acidic soil ericaceous soil because at the moment i'm using just a general um compost composting soil which is not i don't think it's ideal for this this is why it doesn't look too happy okay and then we've got this here this is the last one that i'm going to show you before uh, i wrap my video up but let me just show you what i mean I think these are wild strawberries growing here from this plastic tub if you're watching this video and um, you have a bit of knowledge about strawberry please confirm would you think this is a strawberry please I think this this is a type of strawberry and I'm hopeful it will grow and I'll get to see it bear fruit I'm just literally leaving it there I was tempted um, when I first spotted it to transfer it but I, it might be a bad idea so I'm just leaving it there as it is because as you can see it managed to grow from this tiny pot okay so hopefully it will continue to grow and then it will bear some lovely strawberry strawberries for us um, the other plants that is in this not too big plastic pot is this one salvia and this one I got this from a cutting okay and this one this 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 was uh, an honesty plant and i've already cut it down as you can see and some weeds there and i'm going to leave that there just because it looks better with loads of other green things in there okay and then the other um things that i put in there are bulbs so there are bulbs there but they won't come out until next springtime okay and some oregano mixture of everything so that's how it is i just can't believe these wild strawberries growing out of nowhere because I, I i haven't put any strawberries in here the only thing i can think of is it's probably um managed to do that because of the compost that i have been harvesting from harvesting from my compost bin and then filling this up with some of my compost that's how it is here and as i said we are now in september middle of september and we just had a heavy rain here in my garden and um, that's how they are they don't look too um beautiful at the moment you know what you would call beautiful because uh, they don't have too many flowers but for me they are still beautiful okay but i'm just showing you how they are because as i said they've been left for a week unattended so hopefully i gave you a bit of like an information or inspired you again hopefully that you know don't worry too much if you have a uh, your own garden and you're just about to go on holiday for a week please don't worry too much 
uh, I think I've been lucky as well because here in the UK most of the time it's raining anyway but if you're somewhere really really hot then perhaps it might be a better idea to still have someone um, who can water some of your um, tender plants the ones that aren't hardy the ones that need to be watered often um, to have someone who can do that for you during your absence so anyway it's lovely to see you again i hope to see you again next time and um, i'll upload more videos i i have already um recorded other videos that are still waiting to be edited and um sorted out by me but i haven't got around to doing them because it's just been um a busy 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 non-stop but i'll find time to do them so i'll see you around next time have a lovely evening wherever you are beautiful day morning afternoon and see you again take care Thank <laughs> you.